Okay, so we are live. This is episode 11 of The Corner of M and Q. And I'm with Ricky. She's the general manager of Mason Dixie Biscuits Company. All right? Yeah. So, look, before we get into Brittany and what they have going on here at the restaurant, I want to talk about, I want to show you exactly what brought me in here. Right? So, they have an interesting concept that they do with biscuits. And she's going to dive into it in a second. But let's, let's actually look at it real quick. So this is called, what, what is this called right here? This is the classic fried chicken sandwich. This is a buttermilk biscuit with a piece of our fried, with a piece of our homemade seasoned fried chicken. It has bacon, honey, and hot sauce. And it is, it is our best seller. It's very delicious. It's, yeah, it's a really good, really good, nice little meal. Now see like, as you guys know, as you guys know, like I don't eat meat, but like if I was, this thing looks to me it's like you know, like if you take a, a southern chef and kind of mix it up with the old Jimmy Dean frozen biscuits, like obviously it's better quality, it tastes better, very everything. much better quality than your frozen biscuits that you'll get from other companies. We have real butter, real buttermilk, real flour, no artificial anything in any of our in any of our food. Right. So, guaranteed to get a really good meal here. Right, you can tell the quality. I mean, this is a this is a nice piece of chicken right here. <laughs> I mean, that's that's nice, right? It's kind of the thing you want to do, like come up in your house, but you can come here and get a quality biscuit. Yep. And, and really get your um. I'm gonna go ahead and get that a little bit. <laughs> it tastes like home. <laughs> so um, you know, one of the big things that I think every restaurant should be involved with is how they present their marketing to the consumer. Right? Mm -hmm. When you look on, and you guys check out their website, check out their social media, you guys have really nice pictures that really show the quality of the food. Mm -hmm. Like it was one picture with a, the maple syrup was dripping off the side. Yes. Like, <laughs> I mean, it just really gets you to come in and see what it's about. Like, talk about what that does for the consumer or even you guys running the restaurant, how that necessarily brings them in and, and shows them something before they actually taste the food and see what it's I mean, they see pictures of honey dripping off of hot chicken. Mm -hmm. You see the spices in the chicken. You see all that stuff. It just makes you want to come in, and it gets you hungry. It gets you excited. You don't want to, you know, post pictures of, like, just a basic sandwich, anything like that. And the best thing about it is, like, when you go to McDonald's, and you go to Burger King, you go to Taco Bell, you go to fast food joints, right? And... When you see their you see their advertisements and it never looks like it does on the picture. Right. Our food looks like the picture. Yeah. Like it's literally dripping sauce. Right. We wanna make sure that we give you the quality that you're looking for that you see. So yeah. And it, it makes people wanna come in here to, you know, give us a shot and it makes people after they've already had it, they go home and they're like, damn, I gotta give another one. <laughs> So as you can see, it's bite size. So I can imagine people would be able to double up or even triple up sometimes. Absolutely. Food. Well, with our biscuits, the biscuits are very filling. They just we deceive you by thinking that oh well, it's small. Once you start eating it, you'll, you, it'll fill you up. But for the people that are very hungry, we have I mean baked mac and cheese, not craft stirred in a pot. I'm talking your right. grandmama's baked macaroni and cheese. <laughs> We have a sweet potato casserole, like we have those southern sides that will pick that pair very well with our sandwiches and with our platters. Mm. I still can't stop licking my fingers. Like <laughs> but um, let's talk about the side because I read an article where um, you guys were quoted saying that you know a lot of places when they have good food and their main item is you know legit, they kind of just fall off with the sides as being something they can add. I read that you guys, you know, in a sense, wanted to make it where people thought about the size before they thought about the main dish. Yeah. Can you speak about like what the what the consumer trend has been or how people react to the size? And well, don't feel so bad that you don't eat meat. Okay. We have a lot of people that come into our restaurant that are vegetarian. All right. Um, and we <laughs> have a trio side sampler for the, for folks that decide not to eat meat. So none of our sides are cooked with meat. We have, we have collard greens, and I'm talking good collard greens. They don't have pork, they don't have turkeys, no meat in them, but they're really good. They still have that really good flavor that you're used to having when you're talking Southern Comfort food, right? So we have collard greens, green beans, baked macaroni and cheese, we got cream corn, just 
we have the food that will make you feel like you are back at home. And especially now that it's getting cold and you yes. don't really want to go anywhere, we deliver through caviar. So you can stay at home okay. and be snuggled up, you know, on your blanket while you're watching your Netflix. You can go ahead and order us and it's going to be right at your door. And, I mean, it's stick to your ribs food. We don't want to give you sides that are just like, you know, regular mac and cheese. No. We don't want to give you sides where it's canned greens. Greens don't go on canned. So we got real salad greens, <laughs> fresh. fresh, everything fresh. I think that um that that's pretty good because sometimes you know you just want something that's southern comfort, but you don't necessarily want a whole three course meal. Exactly. So you could come and just get bite size something that you would make in the house, but at an elevated quality. Absolutely. I think that's a good pool to get people in. As like this is something different. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And let me tell you, like when you walk in here, the whole place is different. Right, let's let's speak about the interior real quick, right? So when I walked in here about a month ago and, and we met, to me, the first thing I thought was like Johnny Rockets meets Powerpuff Girls, right? Now I used to I love Powerpuff Girls when I was little. Buttercup. Buttercup, right? So if, if anybody watched Powerpuff Girls, put a like. If you're watching this later, go ahead and comment about it. But you know, it had that it's that colorful theme, and we we'll probably pan around and show you guys some things. But you know, what's the What's the concept behind it? What, what was the, the essence of bringing that to the consumer? Well, we wanted to give you like a modern, like a, a vintage and modern baby. That's what okay. I feel like this I like is. That. <laughs> um, no Kings did our mural. They did all of our artwork in our, in our restaurant. And we wanted to give you that bright pink, that bright blue. The, and our mural actually tra uh, it tracks how we came to this location in Shaw. But oh, okay. all of the colors are to, you know, grab the people's eyes as they're walking past. You're, you're never going to see a bubblegum pink restaurant. You're never going to see a butter, a buttery baby blue just on the ceiling, like at any restaurant except here. So.